Hello, Marilyn. Hello, sir, Voltaire. It's a pleasure to meet you all. In a nutshell, tell us your story from childhood to now that puts a smile on your face. All right, so I have to be honest here. During my childhood, I, was, I wasn't that hardworking. In fact, I have low grades, but then one time, there was this recognition that I didn't even know, and then my parents was also shocked. And then from that moment on, I believe in myself, and that pushes, pushes me even harder to be better and to be the, become the best version of myself. And I think that is also one of the factors why I am here, that I always carry to be the best version of myself. Thank you. What, what is the funniest experience you've had with your closest friends or things that make you LOL? Okay, so to be honest again, with Mommy Rose, one of the glam team in the Miss Universe Philippines, so she was the one who is um, retouching me with my, with my makeup, and then she said to retouch my lipstick, to bite my lip, but, and instead I bite my, I bit my tongue and I bit the tissue instead of my anal lips. So I think that is the mo uh, the funniest thing that happened to me that makes me LOL. I think that happened to me earlier. <laughs> Women's health and well-being is a major part of the Miss Universe Philippines advocacy this year. How do you encourage women to become, take a more active role in this advocacy? All right, first and foremost, we should be genuine with ourselves because when we are genuine and we, we show to the world, to the universe rather, our authenticity, um, it comes the best versions of ourselves and it comes there with our potential and it comes there also with the causes that we are passionate about. So the movement follows and then the success. What advice can you give to a young woman for her to become more socially aware and become empowered? The advice that I would give to a young woman to be more empowered and more socially aware is that to be stay informed, especially with the current issues that is happening right now. And with the use of social media, it is really important to stay updated and also filter out what is right and what is wrong. Lastly, e-commerce continues to help uplift several micro and small enterprises. With this, if you were to start your own online business, what would it be and why? Okay, so a fun fact, I am a self-driven entrepreneur. I was once an online seller, and right now, I have my dream physical store come true. And the factor that really pushed me even harder to achieve this business that I have right now is to never give up. Because you know, life is not always smooth. There are always challenges along the way. But the important thing is you continue. You don't give up, and you will always try to achieve that goal. Because at the end, you can only help your Yourself. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marilyn Katipuna Niligan from Negros Oriental. Thank you so much.